Envision a barren highway swallowed whole by the inky blackness of the night, a desolate path that stretches out into infinity, shrouded in the suffocating cloak of an omnipresent void. This highway is a phantom, leading perhaps to nowhere, or maybe to everywhere, lost within the uncanny twilight zone between reality and the surreal. It's a sinewy river of asphalt, cutting through an ocean of an eternal and unyielding night. The highway is indifferent, and yet chillingly intimidating in its isolation. The highway sleeps under the oppressive weight of a silence so profound that you can hear your own heartbeat. The only break in this eerie tranquility is the spectral wind whispering its cryptic tales as it rustles the sparse skeletal vegetation that lines the desolate verge. No soul dares to venture out, for this highway is an ambassador of solitude, a lonely specter in the heart of void. The darkness that gorges around this spectral path is not just absence of light, it represents the fears that we humans harbor, the primal fear of the unknown. It's a darkness that lurks within the deepest recesses of our minds and in the corners of our hearts, a darkness that consumes all innocence. There are no lamplights to break the morbid uniformity of the night here, no artificial beacon to challenge the despotism of this all-consuming darkness. The highway sits beneath the blanket of a moonless night, void of human presence, a testament to our insignificance in the face of nature's grandeur. It's an untouched stretch of terrain, a serpentine line of asphalt imbued with the spirit of countless unseen travelers. The only sounds that to intrude this morbid silence are the distant mournful howl of the wind, like a banshee's lament, and the occasional hoot of an owl, an ominous sentinel in the night. These nocturnal symphonies echo through the still air, ripple across the forsaken expanse, striking a chilling chord within the canvas of the night. In this desolate landscape of solitude, a lone vehicle dares to challenge the highway's barrenness, its headlights cleaving through the obsidian veil. The vehicle is an alien entity in this Lovecraftian panorama, moving with a sense of existential urgency. Its headlights, twin orbs of spectral luminescence, cleave the darkness like a ship sailing through a nightmare, creating a temporary bubble of obscenity within the madness. Then, in the imponderable distance, a solitary figure manifests, materializing from the shadows like a revenant, an apparition or a dreadful reality. The figure is shrouded in enigma, a silhouette painted against the unyielding abyss, its thumb outstretched, seeking a ride, or maybe seeking solace from the oppressive solitude, or perhaps seeking an escape from the devouring darkness that threatens to consume all. The figure waits. It waits in the void, as the solitary vehicle, a tiny island of humanity in an ocean of desolation, approaches. Before the driver can protest, the mysterious figure begins to speak, his voice like a phantom breeze whispering through the car's confines. I was once like you, he begins, his words barely audible over the engine's drone. A man with a destination, a purpose. His voice quivers, the pain of a thousand memories etched into each syllable. But all that changed one fateful night, on a road much like this one. The driver's eyes flicker to the rearview mirror, catching a glimpse of the hitchhiker's hooded silhouette. His heart pounds in his chest like a war drum as he listens to the man's haunting tale. He speaks of a family lost, a life unraveled, and a tormentor that lurks in the shadows. His story unfolds like a dark tapestry, each thread woven with despair and terror. The hitchhiker's voice fills the car, creating a soundscape that is both eerie and mesmerizing. His tale is a chilling sonnet of sorrow and horror, a narrative that echoes the desolation of the road outside. The driver feels the weight of the hitchhiker's words, each one a pebble dropping into the still pond of his mind, creating ripples of unease that spread through his consciousness. The hitchhiker's tale is a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurks just beyond the reach of the headlights, a testament to the fragility of life and the lurking presence of the unknown. The driver swallows hard, the taste of fear lingering on his tongue as the hitchhiker's voice fades into the hum of the engine. The world outside the car seems to hold its breath as the hitchhiker's story reaches its climax. His voice lowers to a whisper, his final words hanging in the air like specters. And now I wander, he says his voice barely more than a breath, lost and alone forever trapped on this endless road. The driver's grip tightens on the steering wheel, his knuckles turning white. The hitchhiker's tale has left him with a sense of dread that clings to him like a shadow. His eyes dart to the rearview mirror once more, catching the hitchhiker's silhouette in the dim light. 
The figure is silent now, his story told, his past laid bare. The only sound is the hum of the engine and the whistling of the spectral wind, a haunting symphony that echoes the hitchhiker's chilling tale. The driver, a man not usually one to falter, pulls over and opens the passenger door. A silhouette, barely discernible in the oppressive darkness, stealthily approaches the car and nestles into the passenger seat. He is shrouded in the night's cloak, made invisible by the veil of his hooded jacket. An added layer of mystery surrounding him. The only noise that dares to invade the silence is the sporadic crunch of gravel under the tires and the monotonous drone of the engine, creating a rhythm that echoes ominously within the tight confines of the car. The air becomes thick, dense with unspoken tension, as the vehicle traverses the distance under an ominous star-speckled sky. The driver, a man who usually finds comfort in companionship, begins to feel a cold prickle of unease creep up his spine. The relentless silence becomes a living entity, gnawing at his nerves, prodding him to fill it with words, perhaps to dispel the creeping dread. He clears his throat, his voice tearing through the silence, as sharp and clear as a scalpel slicing through untouched skin. He throws out a question, then another, in a frantic bid to bridge the gap, only to be answered with enigmatic half-truths. Each word, each phrase, that slips out from beneath the hitchhiker's hood, bears the weight of a story submerged in heartbreak and unfulfilled dreams. As they venture deeper into the night, the engulfing darkness outside seems to permeate the car's interior, deepening the mystery surrounding the hitchhiker. His responses grow increasingly elusive, each one carrying more weight than the last, his tone with an urgency that stirs the driver's fear further. The air inside the car begins to stink of impending disaster, growing more frigid with each passing mile. The is electric with suspense, the unease building with each mile they put behind them. An icy shiver runs down the driver's spine, his heart clenching in fear, as if grasped by a frost-bitten hand, when the enigmatic passenger points a gloved hand towards the consuming darkness and utters two chilling words. Stop here. The car's headlights cut through the darkness, revealing an old decrepit house standing forlornly amidst the wilderness. The paint, once vibrant, now peels off its wooden facade in large, grotesque chunks, like the skin of a decaying corpse. The windows, their glass long shattered, stare vacantly into the abyss, their hollow gaze a silent testament to the horrors they have witnessed. The driver's breath catches in his throat as the hitchhiker steps out of the car, his silhouette standing stark against the dilapidated structure. The crunch of the gravel underfoot echoes in the silence, a grim symphony to accompany the hitchhiker's final journey. Each step seems to reverberate with the weight of a thousand untold stories. The driver watches frozen in place as the enigmatic passenger approaches the rotting edifice, his form growing increasingly indistinct with each passing moment. The wind carries whispers of sorrow and pain, the trees bearing silent witness to this spectral procession. And then, as if swallowed by the shadows themselves, the hitchhiker disappears. His existence, as transient as a wisp of smoke, vanishes into the eerie stillness of the night. The driver is left alone, his heart pounding in his chest like a wild drum, his blood running cold. The house stands tall, its skeletal structure a chilling beacon in the darkness, its silence echoing the horrors of a past long forgotten. The car grinds to a halt at a forsaken house swallowed whole by the predatory forest. The house, once majestic, now stands forlorn as nature reclaims it. Vines creep like insidious veins along the faded paintwork and rotten wooden beams shrouded by the encroaching wilderness. Eerie silence drapes the scene, punctuated only by the soft rustling of leaves stirred by an unrelenting wind. The headlights' beams slice the inky darkness, spotlighting the neglected property, a skeletal monument to a forgotten era. Our enigmatic passenger alights, his silhouette obscured by the fickle moonlight. His footfall on the gravel, a crunch that reverberates eerily in the night, is a haunting symphony of foreboding. He embodies melancholy, a spectral figure set against the gothic backdrop, carrying a burden known only to him. As he approaches the decaying structure, he seems to be swallowed by the omnipresent darkness. The house, with its shattered windows and fissured walls, stands defiantly, bearing silent testament to the ravages of time and man's transience. Its mere existence breathes an air of desolation, of dreams abandoned and promises shattered. The silence thunders louder than words, whispering tales of a bygone era. A chilling wind like a spectral harbinger carries the faintest hint of a macabre tale untold. 
Stories of passion, betrayal, and vengeance. Of a life snatched away prematurely, an unsolved crime lost in the folds of time. The sigh of the wind wind seems to share the secrets harbored by the forsaken house, secrets that lie buried deeper than its crumbling foundations. This spectral traveler it seems is a ghost of the past, his existence a mere echo in the continuum of time, his journey a quest for retribution, his ghostly form, a floating apparition, dissolves into the darkness within the house. The creaking door swings shut behind him, swallowed by the gaping maw of the house leaving behind an unsettling void. A tremor of dread vibrates down the spine of the driver, his his heart pounding like a funeral drum in his chest, the staccato rhythm of his terror echoing within him. He finds himself alone, consumed by the ominous silence, frozen under the looming shadow of the spectral house. Each second stretches, his mind spiraling into a vortex of supernatural, inexplicable and paranormal possibilities. An eerie calm descends, the wind howls a mournful requiem, the skeletal trees sway in a spectral waltz, their leafy appendages reaching out to the haunted house, a gesture of shared solitude. The spectral passenger never re-emerges, leaving the driver to contemplate his terrifying encounter. His disappearance lends the scene an air of tragic finality, his story forever entwined with the house's ghostly whispers. The unknown fate of the spectral passenger, an enduring mystery in the driver's mind, pulls the haunted house even deeper into the realm of the bewitched and the damned. 